slave chief, what have you done? It is unfair. Very, very unfair. No, no. Excuse no. me, please. Keep your aspiration to yourself. What a sudden change, chief. Why? Look at the poor woman. Just look at the poor woman. She prepared everything. Made necessary arrangements. Bought everything. And what did she get? Disappointment. You listen to me, my dear. I am the head of this family and I have every right to take any decision that I want to take at any point in time. Are you not happy that this party, this grand occasion went successfully? The people were happy. The food was delicious. They drank. They ate. They, they, they danced. They sprayed. What else do you want? And what, what, Chief? And what? Tell me. You like doing things in your own way without considering how other people feel about it. Who knows? Who knows how many millions of naira you've given to that good for nothing woman to do the cooking? Who knows? But, but darling, why didn't you tell me you've contracted her? I will not have gone to Madame Joy. Now tell me. How am I going to collect the money back from her? How? Tell me. Well, give it to her. Look. Now, you better put an end to this because you are taking this matter too far. Put an end to what? When all the condiments and all the food stuff are still lying in the kitchen? Well, call the neighbors. Give them everything. Both the cooked and uncooked ones. Give everything to them. But come to think of it, why? Why should she refuse to, to, to use the full stuff Mother Joy brought? Why did she refuse? No, oh, that is a very, very good question. Now, why don't you call the press and hold the press conference for me to explain? But until then, good night. Good night. The joy that cannot be lifted. <laughs> Chief <laughs> educator, I heard you spoiled people. I'm very annoyed with you. I heard the weekend was something else. I am very, very annoyed with you. Please don't kill You were not there. Your wife was not there. Oh, eh? Am I doing anything wrong? No. I am holding such a grand occasion and you did not show up. Please don't. What have I done to you? Nothing. nothing. Ah! Please don't kill me. Uh, it was a situation I could not help. I had to go to the sanctuary to complete procedures for the outgoing and incoming servants. And I only came back this morning. I see, okay? Because of that, I forgive you. Thank you. But you should have been there. Oh, I don't want to come. No, I just, I just decided to, to add this uh, night title into my numerous uh, traditional night. <laughs> oh, you should have been there to see what. Uh -oh. You know, a little bit of grease uh, mingled with the one of the traditional and everything. <laughs> Since I donated five billion naira to the church building project, the church has been marking pressure upon pressure on me. You know these churches are mm. the ones who push it. <laughs> they want to swallow you up. <laughs> but most important yeah. is my wife. You know she's been very inquisitive. She cannot wait to add the title lady. <laughs> so that the computer will go lady back. Okay, okay. Come on, Laura. <laughs> you should see my wife now. Really? <laughs> our shoulders are higher than her head. If you don't add lady to her title, she will never answer you. Really? Now you must say lady Mary and lady Kerry. You know what I you know, we, 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 we create the room yeah, and, they, and they shout it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyhow, congratulations. Yes, yes, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's not forget. Mm. The chief priest says to tell you to 
to see him before our next meeting. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sir Johnson mentioned it to me. Hello, young lady. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, is Chief in? Yes. What's the name? I am Lady. Okay, hold on. Trust you guys. Little 
you did, I realized that you are those type of people who would see white and call it black. Eh? Chief, how? We don't understand. Why will you understand? How will you understand when you cannot differentiate an old woman with a virgin? How? Eh? You disgrace me in front of everybody in the sacred kingdom today because the sacrificial lamb was rejected. Now, you have five hours, five good hours to get me two virgins between the age of 10 and 12. Chief, I thought it was one. Now it is two. Eh? But Chief, it was only one. Uh. Yeah. Five hours. Now get out. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Chief, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Didn't you read the contents of that letter? Does it not state there that it is only the presence of the men that is needed? Not women. Oh, Chief. Come on, take a look at me. Take a good look at me. I am not an illiterate. The letter says, middle of the night. Since you can interpret better than I do. Show me exactly where it's written in the letter that women are not included. Show me! Well, I just... I just have this feeling that you are spoiling for quarrel this night. And I'm not ready for that. Eh? So, can I go to bed? Oh, you cannot sleep. Yes, there's still one more thing. Yes, what is it? That locked room. Yes. I'm getting the carpenter to break it down. That's wrong? Yes. Oh, I wanted to break it down for a long time now myself. But I said, why break it down if there are other empty rooms in this house that one can use? You know, I, I begin to wonder why my brother took the keys along with him to the United States. Are you saying his properties are still in that room? Oh. So you do know? No. You better leave it except you want us to be uh, arrested for breaking an entry. In our own house? Ah, you never can tell. Good night. today. You are just washing the vehicle when everybody sets to go to church. What is your problem? Darling. What? Darling. Yes. Please. I guess, so guess we use the other vehicle instead of being late to church. As for you, you fool. There's no food for you in this house. Darling, let's go. Idiot. You know what's happening? You better hurry up with this and let's go to church. Do you want to starve? No, Mother meant what she said though. Why you go first place to go to church? Now by first I'll go to church. What if I know I'll go? The Venus, it is a must in this house. It is a must. Don't you know before? You must go to church. What if I go there and get absent-minded? See him now. I, I, I think see him. Even if you're absent-minded, you better memorize the whole Bible, Bible verse today because thief must surely find it out from you when we return. What are you doing there? Eh? Come and move this car so that I can go to church. Hey. What are you discussing with him? Reverend, yes, my sir. wife cannot tell me what to do or what not to do. I have made up my mind over this and I will not change it. What if? If fellow parishioners will emulate from what you've done and continue to do, the sky will be our limit in this price. He will not only be the best in this zone, but one of the best in the country. Well, Reverend, I want you to know that you cannot expect others to do like I do. Many are called, but few are chosen. I am a knight of God. 
and I am always ready to serve and I will always serve. And I will always serve no matter what. Eh? I have to leave you now. Thank you very much. See, you, 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 you will never discontinue surprising. <laughs> You've not changed it. You know, every time I talk to you, I feel the blessings of God on me. <laughs> you know what? May God Almighty continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Your family. Amen. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. Bye bye. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> My regards to Lady Miriam and the children. I will do that. I will do that. Thank God. Ah. You know, I was just coming from the office. Your secretary told me you are still at home. So I decided to call him straight. I hope all is well. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I just uh, decided to, 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 to spend some time with the Bible and, uh, you know, uh, because of the day. And uh, later, I will go to the office. Well, I must confess, Chief, your Holy Spirit shall not be another night in the, in the parish. Well, what else do we do? It is because maybe I'm a member of the night and head of various committees. Of course, you have much cross to bear. At least I can see how seriously you're planning with other nights on the forthcoming diocesan uh, night uh, meeting will be hosting in the parish. You, you know, Reverend, the, the forthcoming uh, diocesan nights meeting is a very great honor to our parish. Yes, it is, Chief. And we must do everything to make sure it is a success. That is why. Uh, I'm impressed. Reverend, please, just, just give me one minute. Let me bring the documents to the plot. It's all right, Chief. It's okay. <laughs> So it's better you belong where you belong. Meaning what? I am the head of knighthood in this parish mm. and cannot afford to admit wolves among the sheep. We know you too well and our investigations confirm said. So why not continue with your occult life and forget all about the knighthood? You cannot save two masters at the same time, Chief A.G. You cannot. Please leave us. Chief A.G. I'm surprised at you. I advise you the first time you met me that this issue of knighthood is a calling and not something you bargain for. And again, as we concluded, you do not need all the lights to turn blue before you forget the issue of knighthood. Please leave us. Knighthood, eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, this will not work. It will not work. We are taught not to respond to criticism, but to respond to God, Chief Ejikeme, or whatever. I am now a full member of the knighthood. So you see, I am also a member of this parish. So you see, you are free to do anything you want to do. Be my guest. You 
think you are fast, eh? <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I am going to expose your complicity today. The honor will not give others the impetus to reject him too. And if I'm advised, Sir David, I think you're wrong. You shouldn't have taken the very action you took. Sir Edikeme, as you can see, is a staunch member of Knight of Emmanuel and a committed Christian who does virtually everything for us in this parish. Yes. Uh, Reverend, I'm surprised at what you are saying. Yes, this parish inquired very well before confirming me with that honor. <laughs> Reverend, I know 
Chief Ejikeme very well. And what he offers to this parish is evil wealth. Everything he has is occult and evil. He's a man I know very well. Listen, Sir David. People say the most fascinating things when they're gossip hungry. I mean, when they're biased about a particular person. And you, as a soldier of Christ, should not be perturbed at all about public opinion. Chief Soji Kemet channels his wealth and heart towards God Almighty. Reverend, I'm very much afraid. I'm afraid! Do not listen to my big minds. Do not be afraid as a soldier of Christ. Simnaya! Father. <sighs> Wonders shall never end. Things are really falling apart and the center can no longer hold itself. Chief A.G. Keme, a knight. Hmm. Even all his friends. That parish is in trouble. A den of occultists. The dignity of a knighthood is no longer there. They have violated all our rules and regulations. Before one could be called into the knighthood, all the parishes in the diocese have to be away according to our constitution. Anyway, I have left them. What kind of fellowship will I be having with demons? No, not David. As for the reverend, there is always free food on a fish hook. Let him continue to enjoy the evil wealth until one day he will be trapped by the hook. Hmm. They are hypocrites, wolves in sheep clothing, they serve both God and mammon. Uh, I am indeed very, very happy that that building is uh, going on so fast. Oh, thank you. In fact, I would, I would uh, appreciate it if that place is completed in a week's time, so that everybody will have his peace of mind. Uh, one other thing, I heard that your car is giving you so much problems. Yes, it's with the mechanic. He's working on it. Look, 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 Reverend. When that mechanic finishes that repairing the car, just just give it to him as a gift. Tomorrow, I will ask my boys to bring you a brand new car. <laughs> Chief, why do you bother yourself so much about me? <laughs> Presently, you committed so much money to the church. And now, a new car. Look, it is too much. It is not too much. It is not too much. Any money committed to the church is never too much. Honestly, it's not too much. The good Lord will always be with you. Thank you very much. Amen, amen, amen. Well done. Honestly, I don't know what to say to you. It's all right. Honestly. We are happy to do these things. <laughs> we are, we are, we are, we are, we are partners in progress, Chief. They seem like the children of light, but they are the children of darkness, they are hypocrites, wolves in sheep clothing, they serve both God and mammon. They seem like the children of light, but they are the children of darkness. They are prominent men in the society, they appear so godly. They're respected and celebrated. They are seen like men of value. They are evil men, disguised as righteous men. They kill, they steal and destroy. They appear like the children of light. But they are of darkness. They are hypocrites. Mama. Yeah. Uh, she said you came, man. Don't take 
know what you are talking about. You think that you can embark on these problems? We don't. We, we need three schools: primary school, secondary school. We need two equipped hospitals. Three. We need bath, bath, water. Four. We need electricity. We don't have electricity in our community. Five. We need good road from A to Z. Who made you the executive of this meeting? What do you study in our meetings? <laughs> you have said that it's a trickish idea. Uh, Look at you. In this, in this request, well, yeah. Look, 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 look. This is not. I don't want you to see to quarrel over behind this. you. I don't want to quarrel over these things at all. <laughs> Some people came and said that they were going to build schools and hospitals. That after they finished building them, we all will begin to pay gradually to them. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Others came and said that they are ready to build make the third roads. I have nothing against all this. Some said they were going to write later, especially the politician, said they were going to write later to Nepal in Abuja. So that we can get our transformer that has been promised to three communities around us here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all I am saying, problems have solved don't make problems to have been solved. Oh. Is it not so? Yes. Yeah, exactly. All I am saying, is that you people give me two things. Mm -hmm. One, that you allow me to take care of all these responsibilities that we have mentioned. I tell you, in one year, you will have your schools, nursery, primary, the hospitals, Pipe bone water, electricity, but I want tires. I will do that. And secondly, all I am asking you people to do is to pray for. Oh God, we carry you. Chief, we are suddenly behind you. Yes. No. You know, I'm just coming from the city. Yes. And I have asked them to prepare something for uh, yeah. me. <laughs> so that is it. Hey. It's all right. <laughs> what, what is in that bag? For my clothes. <laughs> Where is your Bible? In the house. But take this away and bring your Bible. You know, let me tell you something, American. Bible is the one that gives one the Christian life. Without the Bible, you are nobody. You understand what I'm telling you? With the Bible, when you read the Bible, you become, you can survive anything in life. You know, the other books are for information. But the Bible, the Bible is for transformation. You hear what I'm talking? Anybody who listens to the Bible and reads the Bible will survive in life. By the time I teach your son to fear God by reading this Bible, you will see that his life also will be transformed. He will become a better man and a prosperous man. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Don't worry, I will take your son as my own son. for me. You have read the recent one now. What is it? Don't tell me you're not in this village. Oh. Is it the promises he made to tie our roads and to give us electricity? Huh? 
Izima, don't tell me your children are left out. Though. Don't. Huh. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you mean? Chief AGK may promise scholarship to the children of this town. Even my own children, two of them are involved. Even this one here, he promised him scholarship from secondary nursery, primary, to even Cambridge, to where any level at all. Hey! When did that one happen? Mm -hmm. huh? Two market days, I can't even remember. It's just God, though. Only God will turn that man for me. No, hmm? Ngozi. You are just telling me now. You are just telling me now, Mama Ngozi. I thought we are friends, eh? Hmm? I thought we are friends. Two of your children. Eh, yeah, make her Ngozi now. Hey! Jesus. Hmm? Eh, what? Come on, Oh, you're trying to blame me, eh? Don't ever blame me, oh! Don't blame me! My body! What happened now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going down to see a house agent. Yeah, our landlord just sold off our house to a new person who decides to meet everybody. Uh -uh. Which guy? Why now? What happened? He says he wants to renovate the house. Renovate what? Uh, which renovation we make it to eject all the whole tenants? He said let him add something to the rent. <laughs> You're asking me renovate what? Maybe he wants to increase it from four-story building to five-story building, or you want him to be left out in this grid of grid that is guiding all these landlords to stay. No, no, no. Huh? Mike, there's an exception. Chief Sir EGK is an exception. Okay, can you believe that Chief Sir EGK built a new house, renting a flat, 5,000 naira, per a, a, in a month, with one year advance? <laughs> You're not serious. I mean, I'm serious. You mean 5,000 naira for a room or for a flat? <laughs> Did I say a room? I said a flat. Yeah. Ah. Ah, what kind of thing is this? No, why does it mess up? I want to snap out the spirit of confusion that is roaming in your mind. Why don't you know that modern building these days cost 12,000 naira per flat? <laughs> and you have to pay tenancy <laughs> agreements, you pay uh, cola money. Mm. Pay for the for the buyer's fee too. Ah. Oh. Okay, to so drive it home. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm presently occupying a flat in Chief Sir AGK Mesne Beauty. Can you believe this? Are you serious? Hmm. As I'm talking to you now, I live there. Are you serious? I'm in trouble. What is this? As a matter of fact, in two weeks now I'll be homeless. Could you please help me secure a house in that chief HKMS house? I'm ready to pay for two years at that rate. Mm, in that case, you don't have a problem. Huh? Yeah. Since I'm going down, let's go straight and see Chief. Yeah, let's go straight. Falcon. Yes. Some men have been waiting for you. They said they are from the Igbo. Sure, thank you. Congratulations, Chief. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Chief. Hey, hey. Chief, sir. Please you are welcome. Thank you very much. Sit down. We have been waiting over an hour now. We are just coming from the service. Okay. You are welcome. Thank you. I hope there is nothing wrong. No problem. No problem. You are welcome. You are welcome. Um, Chief. Adieu. <coughs> uh, Chief, this is for you. Thank the Igwe and his uh, council for me. <laughs> Tell him that I appreciate what he has uh, said to me. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy you are here. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, Chief, it is only a man that does not like good things. We drink pap 
without sugar. Yes. Do you know that our town is now smelling the America? Yes. <laughs> Why are you waiting for the fulfillment of your promises? Uh, Chief, we can't wait to see our town look like city where there is pipe bone water, electricity, good roads, even free education, all from you. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. Chiefs. You see, I thank God who gives me wealth. I also thank God he has used me to help my people. <laughs> and you are all part of my people. You understand? Uh, like I promised, very soon all these things will be fulfilled. In fact, let's say in six months time, our village will look like small America. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I know that I know that you have a very very long way. I will ask my driver to take you and drop you at the garage. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Um, I know that it is over a month now since you came, and uh, I am very sure you'll be wondering why you've not started working somewhere. It is because I have been thinking and trying to get you a suitable place. I have found that suitable place for you now. Thank you, Chief. Yes. Uh, I want you to go and start to learn babbing. Hey, Chief, why babbing now? I thought you said I would join you in the change of business you do. Wasn't that what you discussed with my mother? Look, 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 look. My son, your late father was a very, very close cousin of mine. And when he died, I promised myself that I was going to take you like a son. Treat you like a son. And do my best for you. You see, a lot of people think that Bobby is an ordinary business. But I tell you something, barbing is one business that brings in lots of money, but people don't know. Yes, they don't know. And I promised myself that I'm going to open for you one of the best barbing salons in this place. I will spend money to make this barbing salon the best for you. And I'm very sure you will make lots of money. That is what it is all about. Money, money, and money. I promise you that. Have you heard what I've said? Yes, sir. So don't think about babbing as something low at all. Is that okay with you? Yes, Chief. That is very good. That is very, very good. Thank you, Chief. Now, continue with what you are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Actually, I asked my secretary to book this appointment to see you, knowing how well you are doing in this place. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Is that lady with you, sir? Oh, yes. And she's my wife. Yes, Miriam. Yes, darling. Come, darling. Come, come here. Good that's, day, the, that's the matron. Good, Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Is he a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. Yes, sir. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. Like I was saying, we appreciate all you are doing. Hence, we brought this little token to support you. And uh, 
this check of 100,000 naira to assist you in your very good work. Okay, thank you, sir. Well, thank you thank very, you, very much. That was very thoughtful of you, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. We are sir. happy. Thank we you, have sir. to leave now. Okay, sir. Thank Thanks, you, sir. Thank, thank you. Let me thank you, baby. Okay. okay, thank you. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. Mike, you're welcome. Yes. Thank you. 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 Let me tell you something again. I am going to make this Babi Salon the best in this city. I am going to change everything again. You hear me? I am going to change everything. I want to make you happy. And to make you happy. Here is the key to work. Hey, David. Ah, I can't think. Get up, get up. You see, on the side of the car, you're going to write, write Kenny's Baby Salon. Confirm, Chief. Confirm. And here. Here are the keys to your new attitude. Now, listen to me. I want you to be happy. I really want you to be happy and to prosper. Hey. You see all these hair that is on the ground? Every day, I want you to gather it together and put it in the bag. I will come and collect it every evening myself. What for? Huh? Wait to mind. You see, all these heads, when I collect them, I use them in one of my factories. I, I mix it with chemicals to get this uh, thing that these women use to, to move their hair. Okay, well, that's how it That is what I call move on. Exactly. That is what I want to do. I will come every evening to come and collect it. Okay. This is what I do. Amen. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Sir. Listen to me. This is wonderful. This is it. Well done, gentlemen. Well done, well done. Well done. Ah, this is good. Okay, see you there. Eh? Don't forget. Eh? Ladies and gentlemen. Imagine, Chief, my enemies are at work again, and I know I will defeat them. Hey, why? Why should the bishop insist on transferring you? It has not been long since you came here. Only two years ago. Why should he insist? You're asking me why. Can you not see the reason why? It's because I'm living well, looking nice. Driving a big car, the people that you bought for me. That's why all that priests want to be posted in this parish. To serve God, but you are serving the devil. And someday, someday soon, you'll surely pay for your evil. They are hypocrites. <clears throat> the brotherhood must hear of this. They must hear of this, otherwise we are finished. What's wrong with the bishop? Eh? What's wrong with him? That reverend should not go, should not go and transfer. The devil you know is better than the angel you've not met. Maybe this new, new priest might be a stumbling block to, 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 to us. We have to drain the flood while it is still at the foot level. Otherwise it turns into an ocean. Chief, this 
our problems. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, Reverend Muslim, and uh, Brother Martins for coming to my office. I am indeed very grateful. I have heard all that you have said. Uh, I just want to say that uh, as far as the whole project is concerned, I will handle that myself. My wife also told me that the women's uh, conference hall will soon commence. I, I, I think that will be in a week's time or so. Yes, yes, please leave that to me also. Yes. Um, as far as Reverend Wosu's uh, send off or transfer party is concerned, that is my responsibility. One other thing that baffles me is that you have decided to make me the chairman of the Harvest Committee. This is a very, very great honor for giving me this honor. I am donating one million naira just for the preparation for the harvest. You see, we are all partakers of the kingdom. You understand? We are all workers in, the, in, in, in God's vineyard. You understand? God has given us the wealth. Let us spend it for the church also. Eh? Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I am so grateful to be so honored. Thank you very much. Where is the drink? Eh? Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Any other thing, sir? Yes, uh, prepare one for me. Okay, sir. Uh, Reverend, please. These are drinks for you. Go ahead. My father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, um, I've called upon the Father to be with you yes. throughout the duration of this conference. It's going to be an extraordinary conference. Yes. It's taking place simultaneously in other uh, parishes and uh, all that, but I want this particular parish, this conference, to be an extraordinary one. Yeah. Well, I like to use this opportunity uh, to welcome you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And on behalf of the good people of this parish, uh, deeply, immensely, accurate, and greatly. We show our appreciation to Lady Miriam. Thank you. And Madam Joyce. Thank you. Uh, Lady Bartholomew. And of course, Chief Mrs. Igwe, otherwise known as a Iron Lady. <laughs> we thank you immensely for working closely. Thank you. With your husband, to see to the completion of the church hall. Thank you. And of course, we are grateful to all of you who, in one way or the other, directly or indirectly, persuaded your husband to contribute to the completion of the church hall. My fellow ladies, I greet you all. Oh, sure. I would like to note that we have only tomorrow and next left for this meeting. And based on our program for this year's meeting, we will appoint an interim leader tomorrow. She has to hold the office of the chair lady till next year, when we will finally conduct an election for the leaders. Then we will properly appoint a new chair lady. That will lead us for three conference season. That is three years term. Now, I beg each and every one of us here to go home and pray towards tomorrow interim leadership election. As we all know, 
It is only God that will help us choose a better leader. Thank you. Ocha. 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 You've spoken well. Thank you. Thank you. Ocha, please. We want you to remain our cheerleader. You've been leading us so well. Shut up and sit down. I you are talking to me. What we need now to do is to go home and pray fervently about tomorrow's election. Yeah, you are not fit yeah. to be on this seat. So leave. Savior, Jesus Christ, follow! 
let me tell you something. I will make sure this morning gets to you through my wife. Oh! Should I be happy? Give me a good reason why I should be happy. I called you. I told you to come to the church. What did you tell me? I am busy. Can you imagine what Chief Lawrence did? Chief Lawrence came and made a donation of two. To support the women. At, at, at times I just believe you are very childish. Do you know if it was the wife who phoned him to come and donate? The wife did not phone him. He came on his own. And even if the wife did, it's a good news to her. Tell him, how do I walk among my fellow women? What do I say to them? For once, just for once, darling. Well, anyway, I made a pledge on your behalf of 300,000 naira. So, who may delegate for coming to the office to pick it tomorrow?
does it. You know, you don't know. Tell me, tell me it's all a joke. Ah. Will you tell me it's all a joke? Because you know, you joke. Seriously, it must be a joke. Because, Sai educate me. You have to choose between your source of wealth and your spending attitude. Because if I must let you into this, the chief priest has specifically said that we must all come and stay for at least two days. I, I agree with you. I, I heard all what you said. But how do I do this? How do I do this? You know, my brother, my church is having a Thanksgiving and an annual harvest at the same time. And I am the chairman of all these committees. How do I do this? What are you even talking about? Am I not part of the same church? Am I not also a knight? Listen, all I'm trying to say is be careful. Else you lose everything. How am I going to do this? All I am just trying to do is to at least for us to have a cover up. That is what I'm trying to do. Huh? Listen, how do I do this now? Listen. Let's give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. Meaning? Meaning that we give to the chief priest what he demands of us. Yes. All right? And to the church, what the church wants from us. Look, it's simple. Look, look, look. I am just confused. I don't understand. You, you don't have to be confused. <laughs> I, I, really, I really, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. No, no, it's a straightforward thing. Because I just told you, give to the churches what you ought to give them, and to the church. It's simple. I have to run a lot because I need to. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Children of darkness, of darkness, they are hypocrites. Ooh. Wolves in sheep clothing, they serve both God and Mammon. Yeah. They seem like the children of light. Why must this be coincidental? I can't afford to miss this annual harvest. No way. I will be the chairman of this year's annual harvest, at least to boost my credit for the third time. Nobody has ever achieved that in my parish. Hey, <laughs> Lady Mary and my wife. How will I explain to her that the harvest she has been preparing for all along will be cancelled? No, 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 no. No way. Let uh, Chief Johnson, Chief John, Chief Ken and others. I do not like members in the same uh, parish with me. Does that mean all will be absent from the annual harvest? Even if they will, my calling in the brotherhood is different from theirs. I chose the fame and the wealth, and the only way for me to be famous is by representing myself everywhere. Well, uh, at least I'll be recognized and noticed, yes. I think I have a solid ground now. If I explain to the chief priest, he will understand. Of course, I'm closer to him than all other Brotherhood members. And also, I have always had a word lamp to sacrifice. I always appeased the sacred kingdom master. Yes, I... Yes. 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 <laughs> They seem like the children of light. Brothers, for the past two days we all have been here in a covenant to the sacred kingdom of Sakura Shantiki. But Chief Ujikian is nowhere to be found. Could you make all this?
will agree with Chief Lawrence. But I still feel it is necessary for Chief Ejikimi to be warned. Because if he is, then he's sure and certain that he will never repeat it again. Right one. Right. There's no need of flogging this issue when we all know the penalty. I want all of us to be forward focused and not past processed. This matter is hereby closed.
What's the problem? You don't know yourself. Is anything bothering you? Brother Bath, the death of my son is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I understand how you feel. But you don't have to allow it bother you. You see, your mistakes cost you your son. I beg for my intervention. It will cost you your life as well. Anyhow, that's by the way. The most important thing is that you've learned your lessons. So forget about all the details. But the most important thing I want you to realize is that the core is more important than the four. It's all right. Cheer up, okay? Cheer up. Cheer up. I am tired and confused. Chidubim, you don't have to be. You understand me? Listen, the earlier you realize the person of Chief Ejikeme, our Oga, the better for you. Wait. I mean, I'm tired and confused. You won't understand. Okay, what do you mean? You're talking as if you don't know my experiences with Chief. My ordeals. You remember I served him faithfully. Yes. And he settled me with one million naira. Boy, I was supposed to have made it. But the whole money he gave me disappeared into thin air. Imagine that. Come to think of it. That is exactly what I'm experiencing now. You see that? Immediately I broke away from Chief's company. Yeah. My money kept on diminishing. <laughs> Just take a good look at me. I am supposed to have gotten my own apartment now. Or I still live and feed under Chief. At my age. You see that? You see to that. That is what I'm just saying. Chief insisted that I go into partnership with him. Really? Yes, but I said no. I refused. That, in fact, that was why I had to overcome my problems by predicament on time. I went to my uncle and screwed him for a loan, which he gave me. Man, I started life from the scratch. Thank God today. Things are going on for me. Wait, wait. Are you trying to tell me that all these sources I'm seeing around you is not from Chief Sun? My friend, I'll stop that I shit. Really believe what are you talking? What are you insinuating? That what? Man, take a look around. Just take a look around all that's been going on. Anybody that leaves the services of Chief, that is after he has served him and he's settled. Listen, whatever that you're given goes back to Chief. Yes. Except for those who remain in his employment, or rather, go into partnership with him. Now, my brother, you better wake up from your slumber, or... I make a must tell you I'm still sleeping.
about it, you, do you understand? And then, recently, I've been appointed one of the special advisors to the presidency. What more can a man want? So we have time for that. By the time you belong to the Knight of Saint Emmanuel, do you have everything? 100%. Well, one has even climbed to the extent that, I, you know, I mean, I don't need this, okay? I'm not a man of flamboyance. It's for people like you. I live a very reclusive life. After my hard day at work, I just go home and relax and I pray to my God my own way. I don't want to go gallivanting about Johnny Knighthood. So you think of it, I don't need it, all right? Yes. <laughs> I love you. Think about what I just said, okay? So you, you have my number. So whenever you change your mind, call me. Let's say if I change your mind, you need to yeah. very just yeah. about me. Yeah, sure. You're asking me to include your stuff to high level. Oh, yeah. Wolves and sheep moving this earth. Both God and Mammon. They seem like the children of light. But they are. The children of darkness, they are hypocrites. Wolves and sheep clothing, they serve both God and mammon. They seem like the children of light, but they are the children of darkness. They are prominent men in the society. They appear so godly. They're respected and celebrated. I hope you are fresh. Yes, Chief Priest. It is very fresh. Take your breath. donated a brand new Mercedes Benz to the new priest coming. Uh, Chief Sir Okaome yeah. also decided that he's going to furnish and refurbish the, the, the priest's house. And of course the knights are donating one million naira in case of any eventuality, in case he needs anything to spend money on. What else, what, what else are, are we talking about? Please, we should, uh, my good friend. You see, most times you don't see so amazed me when you talk. I don't know if you ever realize that um, you are not an ordinary human being. So let me ask you. So if someone told you that we're going to give the gifts out to the new place without it passing through the sacred altar, will you believe it? Of course not. It has to pass through the sacred altar so we can set some powers into it. So it can feel us. Are you forgetting um, what we did for the old outgoing priests? I hear you, I hear you. Are you remembered 
Oral Joint, Sir Johnson. <laughs> oh, come on. You know, I'm sorry. But you know, Sir yes. Johnson here. At times when he talks, he, <laughs> he talks in parables. Yeah. I agree. We should pass it through the secret key. Of course. You see, Reverend Felix, our parish is the most peaceful and the most rewarding parish. You have a lot to gain from us. They say that the idol that performs very well, the worshippers, uh, shelter and honor. But the idol that does not perform well, the worshippers allow rain and sun to, to beat and they don't shelter and they don't honor that such an idol. We members of St. Emmanuel's Night have uh, done very, very well with your predecessors. I, for instance, Chief uh, Sir Educate, single-handedly bought a car for your predecessor. A very good car, that. And uh, if you wine and dine with us, you will have nothing to lack and nothing to fear. Okay. I have heard you. Thank you very much. I must go now. Once again, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes. Goodbye. Chief, the GKM. Idol that performs well and the one that doesn't perform well. The worshippers building shelter and providing honor or not. I smell evil in this parish. And God knows I will not be a part of it. Well, I can only pray. It's for you. The elder said we should come and remind you that it's almost a year you did not fulfill those your promises. Did I tell you people that I needed a drink? Did I tell you people? Yeah. Eh? If I cannot fulfill my promise, what is that? I have tried for you people, you know. I have really tried for you people. Look, I am just coming out from the Zonal Nights meeting where we have been holding meetings and sending off our outgoing parish priest and also welcoming the other one. These things cost money and I am, I am the leader of all these things. I really need my rest now. Thank you very, very much. Now, I think you can go because I want to go and rest. Chief A.G. Kemi, you are the son of the sire. Oh. Remember, we gave you a title recently as Akurono. All those things you are doing is not our concern. It doesn't help us. You know that. What I want you to know now is that if others forsake you, we will not forsake you because you are our brother. Yes. You know that. 
what we want it to do now is to develop our, our fatherland so we develop others. Oh. I want you to think for it. Think for that, Chief. I have thought over these things several times. And I just think it is better to serve God than to serve all those villagers. Huh? When you finish serving them, all they do for you is bring goats and drinks. Drinks and goats that I don't even taste myself. Do you understand me? I preferably serve God because it is said that it is better to serve God because you go to the kingdom of God. Ah, you hear me? Please. <clears throat> I have done my best. Let others now do their own. <laughs> Chief Eji Are you insulting us or what? No. Huh? I mean, nobody forced you to make all these promises. Huh? You just disorganize other people's mind. People that are willing to do something for our town. Now, Chief Eji you cannot even fulfill your promise. Okay, okay, man, man. I made a promise to you and I have every right not to fulfill my promise if I want to. Ha! Now, I want to go and have a rest because I am tired. Yeah. Oh, no. one! Give him that drink. Yeah. Open him that drink. Give him the drink. Yeah. Yeah. drink. I don't want to take it back from the beginning. Preferably, I will do for the church. Yes, they appreciate it. Not all these villagers. I don't really know what I have agreed to present to the new priests. Silent. The executives concluded that we, the Knight of Saint Emmanuel, will present a car and one million naira check to the new priest as a welcome package. And Chief Sir Johnson, how can you say that the executives have concluded? When I don't even know what was concluded, and when the meeting was held, Mr. I am an executive member of this knighthood, and as such, I demand an explanation as regard to this. Sir Michael, we are sorry for what happened. The executives had an emergency meeting. You couldn't be reached easily because the meeting was urgent. Calm down. The most important thing is that you are not left out. You, Honorable Valores, were appointed to present the gifts to the priest on our behalf. I believe it's okay. <laughs> well, um, it's all right. Beautiful. It's well. Just like Sir Eji Kemo told you when last he visited you, this is the most peaceful and rewarding parish you can ever think of being posted to. You have a lot of things again here. For instance, um, your apartment. You see how tastefully furnished it is. And um, this. It's for you. <laughs> uh, in addition, 
this is a check of one million naira. It is given to you by the members of the Knight of St. Emmanuel of this parish. <laughs> All these are to express our gratitude having you in our parish. We are delighted. Welcome. Thank you. Well, um, thank you so much. I see your gifts. And um, I just want to thank you. Thank you. Shall we pray? Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, the maker of heaven and earth, the God of all creation, from whom all good and perfect gifts streams. We thank you this day. We bless you, O oh God, for everything. We are asking you right now, God, that you bless this gift in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sellers, tell them that I said they should pack every other gift that these men have ever given to me and make sure they send it back to them. Okay. Father, but uh, with the car and the, why can't you? As you can see, Elder, I I have a car already and I think I'm contented with what I have. Have you heard the latest development in our parish? Mark, you know I just came back from a tour. What development is it? The new priest is something else. I tell you, his ways are totally different. <laughs> you know, I was among those that was sent to present the gift. Yes, yes, I'm aware mean, of that. You see, he rejected outrightly all that we brought to him. Everything. What about the car? You, you talk about the car. He preferred his old car. Instead of the new brown car we bought him, if the new priest said the knights are evil, definitely we are not exclusive. <laughs> we are not. Well, Michael, you know what we're going to do? We'll go straight to the priest and declare our enemies. How is he going to deliver us? He's a spiritual man. Let him pray. God will reveal to him. So don't panic. You know something? When I was in primary school, my English teacher said something. A clear conscience, fierce new accusation. <laughs> Sakel. <laughs> and only something. The word of God says, be sure your sin will surely find you out. The same word of God says, the soul that sin it. Will surely die. So See you. I brought some provisions for you and a bag of rice to personally welcome you. And let me just get it. But the women from the church will definitely come and see you much later, though. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, May God bless you. Amen, Father. But um, I don't think I will be leaving all this. Father, is this something I said wrong? Oh, no, you haven't said anything. It's just that I think your husband will need those things more than I will. My husband? Yes. We'll be ready back.
I think it is a great disgrace to us. How can a new priest in this parish prefer to drive his rickety 504 and reject our present of a Mercedes Benz and other things? If something is not done, this priest will embarrass us. Moreover, he removed all seats belonging to the knights from the church, asking us to go and sit with, with ordinary people. I say in clear terms, no way. My brothers, I believe we have listened to Chief Saeed Jigeme, one of our trusted members. I thought it wise that we summon Reverend Felix at least to find out why he has chosen to disgrace the night of his parish. Sir John, please get Reverend Felix for us.
It is now war between me and you.
for me. They cannot go free. They cannot go free. Oh, they cannot go free. They cannot. My God. My own can can can't start. What about you? What's happening? You are not going to start. What's wrong? Yours can't start too. Come, 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 come. Please rush. We want to get the mechanic quickly. What is this? This is unbelievable. Well, this whole thing can be happening all at the same time. I wonder. Have you checked your own But I think it's all right. But uh, where are the mechanics? Come here, come here. Come here. I want to go to the check. Check, check, check. Come here, come here. Check. Come here. Check. Come here. Check. Come here. They cannot go free. Oh, God. Father Felix, don't mistake us. All we are doing is for the well-being of this parish. Even the occult take this place. Even the demonic challenges. Father Felix, we are sorry. It, 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 it won't happen again. We, 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 we promise to repent. Please, let us go. I mean, our cars cannot start. There is still time for you to repent. Set your sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for giving us victory in this parish. Thank you for displaying your power to them that do not trust in you, Lord. I bless your name. Thank you, Father. You can go. Father Felix, just like that. I'm leaving for good. What did you say? You are leaving for where? Chief, you heard me right. I am leaving for good. Why? Just look at me. Just look at me. Take a good look at me. How old am I? 38 years. 38 years without achieving anything. I stay here. I eat morning, day and night. My mates out there are married with kids. Chief, I am living for good. And who is to blame? Are you blaming me? Chief, are you blaming me? I trained you in the business. I trained you to fear God. When you finished your apprenticeship, what did I do? I gave you. Two million naira to set you up. And what happened? You squandered the money. Or may I say, you mismanaged the money. Look, children, come inside. Come inside, let's discuss this matter. If it is a, a, an apartment that you want or a wife, I, 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 I will look for it for you. I will even give you more money to start another business. Stop telling me that. Stop saying that. What do you want to marry a wife for? Those ten men that you married wife for, what have become of them and their wives? Now they have no kids. And their wife cannot even boast of a miscarriage. Chief, look at you. Look at you. You think I don't know what you're up to? You gave me two million. Yes, you did. What happened? You took them away. Chief, you know that one day, your sins. I'm going for good. Since I packed in here, nothing seems to be 
not with me. I don't understand my business again. The minute I lay my hands on, she disappears. My money keeps diminishing day in, day out. Eh? Okay, just last week, you remember that contract I told you about over a month ago? The drilling contract, yes? Hey, you succeeded. Succeed what? You know we were three pursuing that contract. Of course. The other three succeeded. I was the only one left out. Oh. Imagine me. Oh. Huh? oh no, now. After all the money you told me you were spending, putting in for swing that contract, you did not succeed. Oh, oh, oh. My brother, my brother. You see, that is life, okay? I am considering selling my car. All these things are not happening in vain. I know something is responsible for all these things that are happening. I agree with you. Mike, I agree with you definitely. Okay. I overheard other tenants complaining the same thing and they threatened packing out. This thing is too much. This thing is too much in this yard. Obona, I am suspecting something. I am suspecting chief. How do you mean? Are you blind? Obona, are you blind? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Look at every other tenant in this neighborhood are doing fine. They are doing marvelously fine, except us. Our landlord has a hand in what is happening to us. Which landlord? You mean Chief? Chief Saiji came eh? He's a knight too. Knight my foot. That knight's hood is a camouflage. He's a philanthropist, yes. He reduced the house rent, yes. Yet, he goes behind and stabs us at the back and suck our world and lungs. Okay, Obunna, look at these two shops. Are this not Henry's shop? For the past one month, these shops has been locked. Let's go! Come in, come in, come in, come in, my brother. Come in, my brother. Hey, how are you doing? Abirono. Hey. Oh, told me that we will not hold our meeting again. Oh, exactly. The yeah. chief priest traveled to the Supreme Sacred Kingdom, at least to get more powers. I see. Like that, uh, Reverend. Can't you see he has some strange powers in him? My brother. That fool that calls himself Reverend, uh, Felix. Reverend Felix disgraced us. Disgraced us a whole sacred kingdom hmm. uh, uh, members. I think he should get ready to be fighting with the sting of bees. Exactly. Exactly. But, um, Chief, I still suggest we send some delegates to the bishop with some gifts. At least to know if he can change the, 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 the reverend and if give I us suggested all. this before, you people say, What am I doing again? Marty. But I agree with you, I agree with you totally, and I'm going to see the, 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 the bishop myself. That's good. But I will do that on the consent of the chief priest. So yes. we just have to wait until he comes back, exactly. exactly. Huh? If I will send for Reverend Felix to hear from him. You know? Oh, I appreciate the gift. Thank you. Thank you, His Grace. Uh, something fast has to be done because of the, the migration of, of our folks from this church. The type of job that we did with Reverend Wilson to make the congregation go was not a small task at all. It would be, it would be absolute if somebody went against all what we did. I'd be very appreciative of what you can do, yeah, Your Grace. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Russian. Where is your sister? We want to be sorry to meet her. So right. Today she calls back at 5 I have not served the house since morning. And now. It's almost 11 a.m. Jesus, what do I do now? Okay, let me quickly um, wash the dirty clothes, sweep the house. Ooh. I have a lot of things to do today. How do I start now? Okay, um, let me quickly sweep the house immediately. I want you all to be forward focused and not part process. As for our Reverend Father Felix, the mother herself, he is already dead. The master has taken care of him. His body has been given to the vultures of the earth.
to be in this place for the past six years. And I have never ever seen this dog. How come it is open now? I thought sister said Uncle Kevin traveled with the key to this door. Is there a smoke inside?
save me from such situation. <sighs> Darling, I hate to see you like this. I quite understand how you feel about your friend, but it breaks my heart to see you in this state. Please, okay, Dan, cheer up. In fact, I am not surprised that he said. I'm not surprised at all. You need to believe in this double life all oh, along. I didn't know about it until the day before. Too bad. You see, the problem is that they've used gift to cover the Reynolds' conscience. I don't know if he is not spiritually strong to know that both men are missing. We didn't know about one of the lines of this parish. Sir David, whatever you heard is true. <sighs> Chief Eji came and decided to die serving the devil and ripping from the fruits of his evil deeds. I prayed. Oh yes, I prayed to the Almighty God. And from the day he lied against me to the bishop, that was the day his pains began. You see, Sir Kenneth and Sir Michael, I knew from the onset that both of you were innocent in this parish. To God be the place. And I told God who brought Reverend Felix to this parish. As for me, I could not stand the mental torture and the agony of attending meetings with devils like Chief Ejikeme. That was why I behaved the way I did at the last general meeting. In fact, uh, Sir David, I would have done the same thing like you. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Sir David, don't talk like that. You see, the church had good intentions for instituting the order of the knighthood. Yes. It's only that the devil has been using people like Chief H.E. Kame and his colleagues to thwart and destroy the good intentions of the church. From now on, both of you, Sir Michael and Sir Kenneth, will have to write a letter of expulsion and make sure you extend to the rest of the members of Chief AGKMS clique. At least, let us start afresh with good ones like you. Yes, hello, madam. How can we help you? Good day, everyone. Good day, what do we do? Please travel. Since many months now, my husband's cup has been in the mortuary accumulating this. You pick a date to bury my husband. Please, madam. It is not the duty of the church to fix burial dates. I should think that is the duty of your husband's people. I mean, his kids, man. So why do you come to us? God will let that to But we rejected the responsibility. They insisted that the church should do it. Why? They said that the body of my husband belongs to the church. There is a church property. They did so much for the church. And they gave nothing when it was alive. I know. I know my husband has offended God. But please, let his good wills make way for his forgiveness, please. God mercy on me, please. You see, woman, there is nothing to cry for. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you very much. You 
go fix a date and bury your husband. No! Please! Help me! Madam, madam, the church will have absolutely nothing to do with the corpse of your husband. Chief Ejikeno was a total, total disgrace to the entire Christian world. In fact, the whole of Catholic Church. So whatever you wish, do with this corpse. Go and boss. Well, thank God there are still good ones like you. We thank God. That is why the Holy Bible says, It is not all them that call me Father, Father, that will enter into my kingdom. But I will have to advise, do not let what your eyes see pull you down spiritually. No, don't. You will have to stand out for our Lord Jesus Christ. You will have to be good people. You have to be pioneers of good. Okay? You see, let me tell you something. Knights are supposed to be the soldiers of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are supposed to be de defending and presenting the suffering, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount on wings like eagles. And my prayer today is that as you wait upon the Lord, He will renew your strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. I will go and call Reverend Rosu. Let him come and bury him. I know he will not refuse. Considering all that Chief has been giving him. Yes, I'll go and call him. I'll give him like 100,000 naira. I know he will not reject it. Then I'll buy some boys, like three boys, who will dig the grave. Yes, buy a few of my friends, cook small food. And what else? The barrier is over. Yes. Where are chiefs and brothers and sisters? They won't come. What are they about the members of the church? They were a lot of grudges against him. But when he was alive, they didn't get anything from him. And as for the king's men, they were after his wealth. The chief has done a lot for people. He did a lot for people when he was alive. I mean, his brain is supposed to put crowd. But that will stop me from giving him a befitting barrier. It will stop me.
Chief Lawrence and Chief Johnson. And most of others, they're all secret members. So we got members. Stop, you can not get there. church every day. Hmm. No uh, wonders. Look at the beautiful house he built. He didn't even live in it and he died. But what will I do now? Who will I go from here? I command you to get up. battling with my husband. Can you be a cult member? <sighs> so this is why he refused my coming to the burial. Even Chief Lawrence and I am lady. Oh God. What a world. What a world.
feel happy having your back. The brotherhood is proud of you. Despite your travails in the foreign land, you still prevailed and came back home stronger and better. My successes were made possible through the fervent prayers of the brotherhood and the divine inspiration of our great master. That means you are still a faithful disciple of Sakura Shankeki, who never abandons those who are committed to the sacred kingdom. May his favor continue to be upon you. Thank you very much, great master. Thank you. See, he took a lot of things for granted. He did. He broke the ninth commandment and had to pay for it. Son. Anyhow, Terrible. that's by the way. Mm. All right. How about a drink? I have your usual in the fridge. Huh? You know your usual. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, Save it for later. Are you sure? There is so much to talk about. So please tell me, where did you disappear to? Uh, but it's a long story. You know, after the government decided to embarrass me by seizing my goods and pushing me around, I decided to evolve a totally new strategy. Strategy? Mm. You've come again. Tell me, when you talk about strategy, what do you mean by strategy? I decided to relocate and change my tactics. So, I go outside the country, buy used cars, refurbish them, and stuff the material into those cars, ship them back to the country, fly into the country, go to the ports, clean them, and display them into the market. And all the money keeps coming in. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? And you know, this is our time. Yes, I am now planning to reinvest. Reinvest? Mm. Tell me. You know, you have your ways with words. What do you mean by reinvest? All right. In the past, I invested a lot of money into various kinds of business. And um, I'd like to admit to you, Bath, I have made money. Yes, plenty of money. Only very few people would like to admit to their friends that they have made money. I have made money. So much so that I can afford anything I want today. A house, an aeroplane, state-of-the-art cars, women, foreign or local. <laughs> it's like I can afford all that. So I said about time, I started thinking about my social image. Yes, I want to reinvest. How and where? I want to patronize the church in the expectation that the church will reciprocate by conferring a knighthood on me. That's my strategy. That's where I want to reinvest. 
Okay, one evil. Okay, one evil. Only tree that makes a forest. This is me. <laughs> and you know, I have a pastor friend of mine. Yes. He would always tell me, this is time for you to repossess your possessions. Possession. <laughs> you know, but this is our time. This is the time for us to repossess yes, our, our possession. possession. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Actually, you know, yes. I was going to the car market to purchase a car oh, I see. before I decided to drop it on you. Yes. So, if you are not too busy, no, 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 accompany no. me. No, 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 why not? Let's go. All right. Okay. Then from there. Hey, then from there. We can paint the town red. Ah. 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 for sale and I want to buy it. I like it. No matter the cost, I want to buy it. So how much is this car? My friend, shut up and speak in English. What oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be annoyed, sir, please. I'm sorry. It's 2.5, sir. It's not much. 2.5. Where's your office? This is my office, please. Let's go, sir. Now, come on, let's go talk about it. Go Continue. Continue. Let's keep going. We'll find out. All right. You, you think it's a good buy? You know how it is, you know, with this fairly used cars. I don't know. Well, looking at the interior, I think uh, EGK may handle this car very well. Well, so far, I mean, they, they, it, it's very smooth. Uh, but, okay now, I, I still think you need a driver, you know? You can't be driving a, a big uh, jeep like this, you know, yourself. Yeah, I thought you were coming to that. A person my size, having a vehicle like this, requires a driver so I can look around while I'm in the right? That's right, yeah. And having talked about it, it me why you just go and see this how many straight away. Okay. Things have changed since I've been out of the country. I wonder where they are. Those are Sage Kevin's daughters. How are you? We're fine. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, call me uh, Sabatilomi. Okay, Chief. Sarah? Belinda? Sir. How do you do? Fine, thank you, sir. Fine. Ah, we're just coming from your place and we didn't see anybody, so why don't you come over? Let's tell you why we went to your place. Okay. Linda, what are you going to do? Don't you know these men? I know them. I didn't know that these friends. And it's done that this car. Maybe it's a replica. Okay, okay. But I remember mom telling us about secret code that daddy belonged to. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And these his friends are also members. And you said? Eh? Are they going to eat us up? See, see, stop embarrassing them like that too. See, eh? Let's go and see them now, eh? It will look somehow. It doesn't mean. Let's go, okay? If you say so. 
Uh, uh, come, why did it take you girls uh, long to come over? We are sorry, Chief. It's okay. Uh, uh, meet my friend and uh, colleague. Chief, okay, man. okay. Man. Oh, I know him. He used to come to our house when my dad was alive. Mm. <laughs> that was so many years ago. Many of you were this small. Yes, but I still remember. <laughs> you your mother? Oh, she's fine. She traveled to the United States. She traveled? Yes, sir. Actually, my auntie in the U.S. came and took her away when she started acting funny soon after daddy's burial. But the doctor said that it's the effect of daddy's day that is disturbing her. So uh, Auntie Rhoda came and took her mom with her. No oh, wonder we didn't see anybody in the house when we got there. All right, um, I was away in Italy when your father died. Yes. I just came back and I heard the story, so I thought I might come and say sorry to you people. Welcome, but sir. now that we've met you on the way and your mother is not in, I was very close to your father. Okay. Whatever it is that you require, please don't hesitate to let me know. Huh? Thank you, sir. Anytime, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. What do I do? Now that I know that my husband is a member of Chief Educator's cult. <laughs> Chief Lawrence and Chief Johnson, and most of others, they are all secret members. Secret court members. such activities could this be responsible for my childlessness for 20 years now I'm finished I don't feel safe in this house any longer oh god please help me the events of the last few days, which was characterized by serious upheavals within and outside the church, and with the recall of uh, Bishop Ferdinand to Rome and the subsequent appointment of a new bishop, I think there should be a little bit of sanity in the church, especially amongst ourselves as Knights of the Catholic Church. <clears throat> um, well, brethren, in as much as we are gathered here to deliberate on the form of reception to give to our new bishop, let us not forget that the battle ahead is not for the church alone. We, as the soldiers and protectors of the faith, as symbolized in our status, have a role to play. The case of AGKM should serve as a lesson to all of us 
So if there's anyone among us who is still masquerading himself in the eyes of the church, let such a person beware. Because the case of A.G.K. will be least compared with what is going to happen to such a person. Um, Sir David, uh, I don't think um, what you just said now is necessary uh, because um, nobody here is a king. I mean, so you do not need to consistently draw uh, an issue into our ears or hearts for us to understand what you're talking about. Besides, um, that is not a reason for being here. Uh, so I would suggest if you ask me that we go ahead um, with our main reason of uh, being here, which is uh, to discuss the best form of reception for our new bishop. Gentlemen, I don't know if I'm correct. Yeah, I, um, I think uh, Zabat is correct. Um, let us look into the minutes of our last meeting so that we can move ahead. Um, where is the file? something I want to discuss with you. This night? Well, I think this is the best time for me to do it because you're not always at home. In the morning you're off, in the night it's a different ball game. This is the best opportunity I have. I'm sorry, I'm going to disappoint you. Because I had a very hectic day at work. How hectic could there have been that you cannot even spare a little time for me? Brother, you have changed though, you have changed. Is well, it listen, because... Listen, I... listen to listen to me. I do not intend to go into any form of argument with you. If the reason why you want to see me this night is in respect of what's on the ground, then forget it. Because I have already contacted my agents on board and they promised me I'm going to send someone very soon. Okay? As soon as the person arrives in the country, I will make arrangements for you to meet with the person. Is that okay? Brother, thank you. I didn't know you have been making arrangements for me all this while. Good. So can I now have my peace with you? Uh, why not? Sweetheart. Tell me, what's the name of the game you were trying to play last night? Honestly, darling, I, I'm sorry. I actually took some sedatives to calm my nerves down so I could sleep. Selena, what's your problem? You've been acting strangely lately. Tell me, what is it? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Sweet. 
sweetheart. I don't know what, a, what it is that is eating you up. But whatever it is, it's obviously affecting me. I mean, us. You see, you're no longer the wife I married 15 years ago. Sweetheart, talk to me, okay? What's bothering you? I'm your husband. And if we can share our problems together, then what's the essence of um, staying together as husband and wife? It doesn't make sense. Please, sweetheart, tell me. What is your problem? Selena is back. Selena? Selena, yes. She's back. Selena, my daughter. Yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. Selena. Selena. You're welcome, my daughter. Yeah. How is that? Uh, I know all is well. Not well. How? returning from the farm. I thought I was coming for something good. Well, what are you telling us about your husband? That's what I can't understand. Huh? Ebenezer, I know you people might not understand what I'm trying to say. But I'm quite sure that I saw my husband with his cult members in Chief AJK Ms. Bera. Huh? <laughs> Mama, what has gone over you? How do you talk like this about your husband? What do you expect people out there to be saying about him? Where do you learn this from? Is it from me? Oh, so Selena, you have started listening to gossips outside your matrimonial home, haven't you? Mama, I'm not listening to any gossip. I said I saw him live. <sighs> Selena, please, my daughter, now tell me, what is your problem? Have you forgotten the good things that Lomi did for this family, even before he married you? Selena, two of your sisters are in America. Is it not but Lomi's hard work? Have a look at me. Selena, look at me. I don't even feel that I have no son because but Lomi has filled this space. Even before your late father's death, he attested to it. How is it that the good and generous Bartholomew suddenly thought the devil before your eyes? Selena, don't let me believe that your childlessness in Bartholomew's house has affected your brain. Because for me, I'm not complaining. It's better you go back to your husband. Please. Mm. Be gone, no, no. Mama, ah. I'm sorry. I, mean, I can't go back to the house. I won't go. Cut! Selena, I've killed me. Please, please, please. We are here. Selena, my daughter. I hope I know you won't do that type of thing. Our elders said that when a goat is being castrated, the ram feels bitter because it might be stored. But look at your mother. Eh? Look at your mother. Through you, joy and laughter came back to her. Through you. Look at her gray hair. Do you want her to go to grave in shame? Do you want her to end up, end her life in misery and bitterness? Oh, Lebniza. I don't mean to cause anybody pain or misery. Especially not my mother. Uncle, I'm so insecure. I'm afraid. 
Death and evil rooms around my house. And you people want me to go there. Do you people want me to die? Hey, Mama, do you want me to go there and die? When did you go all day yesterday without my knowledge? And I thought I told you that I went for a one day women congress. Shut up! Will you shut up? I am not lying. Shut up! How could you lie to me? How come those bags you went away and came back with? Did you go to the women's congress or whatever you call it to spend eternity? Your fellow women go out and come back same day. Huh? Now you listen to me. Listen to me, Selena. I am the Lord and master of this house. This house belongs to me. You belong to me as well. So you must learn to respect and obey me. My word should be law to you. Did you get that? One last thing. One very last thing, Selena. Any day, any day, you leave this house without my permission. I bet you, you'll be sorry. You will be sorry. Nonsense. Uh, one, one more thing. My dear brothers, in the Lord, I want to thank you all for the warm reception accorded me as your new bishop. I must not fail to appreciate your numerous gifts to me. And as I pray God to replenish your pockets, I want to charge you all to redirect and channel your might and resources towards the upliftment of God. So that the enemy in our midst will be subdued all to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Are you still thinking about your life? Okay, just listen. I advise that you take your own destiny in your hands. And put your trust in God. Because if you're waiting for birth to help you, you will wait forever. I don't understand. I just don't understand why my brother cannot do anything about my case. At least he knows how comfortable I used to live. I never depended on him or anybody else. Now that my life is like this, why is he turning me up and down? Maybe you should ask him, at least he's your brother. But as for me, I have my reservations and my fears are running wild. How do you mean? Tony, you won't understand. But your brother is not the husband I thought I married. I still don't get you. Well, I won't say more than this. But I will advise you to be very careful about your approach because your brother is very, very unpredictable. Well, I was on my way to the supermarket. So There is something about my brother's relationship with his wife that I don't understand. Why was she talking like that about him? Is there something going on that they don't want me to know? What does she mean by her having reservation about her own husband? But brother Bartholomew, as far as I know, is not a bad person. So how come she says he's unpredictable? Anyway. Whatever the matter is between them, my own is just for ba Brother Bartholomew to help me so that I can start my life all over again. That's all. 
my lord, I am what you might call a humble servant. Towards the growth of the church in this area. Um, uh, I'm a businessman and I travel quite a lot. I was not around when you assumed the office as the new bishop of the diocese. So when I came in last night, I was told we have a new bishop. So I decided to come and congratulate you and offer you this little gift as a token of my appreciation of your appointment, my lord. Uh, it's what you might call a widow's might, but my lord, it's quite small. But, uh, well, sorry. thank you very much. Thank you, my lord. Uh, though you've not introduced yourself to me, I really don't know your name. Oh, uh, my lord, I am Chief Okenna, the Omenibo. Oh, Lord, I think yeah. I have heard much about it. for this kind question. Uh, I really appreciate Thank you, my Lord. the Almighty God. Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. There is so much evil in the church. I can feel it all around. The children of God have turned against their creator. Satan has taken his place in the lives of son of men. My predecessor did not see it from the onset, and that probably was why he failed. But I would be a victim to the whims and caprice of evil. God has mandated me to stand and defend the church against all odds. And that I must do. I must fulfill this call. And I know by his grace I shall accomplish his divine mission. In Jesus' name, amen. When my own brother has given up on me, what other hope do I have? Prayer. That is what we both need to survive this ordeal. Prayers. I have prayed my eyes out. There is no spiritual home in this country I have not been to. All has gone down the drain. There is this charismatic um, brother I met during one of the invitations to their prayer meeting. Maybe we should get him involved. What do you think? Charismatic brother? Yes. In a time of war, it's every man to himself. When in a warfare, Tony, and a lot has to be discovered. How? Well, there were so many things this brother told me that make me believe now that most events in people's life are not ordinary. So the earlier we arrest this situation, the better for us. I think I should call him on the phone to see, come and see us or something.
Hello. Good evening, Brother Andrew. Yeah, this is Lady Bath on the line. Um, actually, Brother, I was wondering if you could um, come over to my house this evening. There's something important I want to discuss with you. It's, it's kind of urgent. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll be expecting you. And you too. Okay. Bye-bye. He said in the next 45 minutes to an hour, he'll be here. Thank you very much. Oh, come off it. I'm doing it for the both of us. God help us. I thank you for this, your beloved son and daughter. I thank you for what you have caused them to, to come to know. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And amen. <clears throat> yes, I must say that your life experience is quite a pathetic one. But thank God who does not leave us uh, with that information. As we are praying, the Holy Spirit of God ministered to me that your destiny and joy of life we are tied up somewhere in your village and within your compound. Brother, do you believe that somebody can tie someone else's destiny? Of course. Why not, Brother It happens. Little wonder the Bible warned that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the universal enemy of mankind, Satan. In fact, in... First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, they recorded that we should be sober and be vigilant because our adversary, the devil, is like a rolling lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. You see, the powers of darkness are beyond ordinary measure. The moment a Christian, a good Christian, understands this basic principle, the better, because he will be able to subdue the devil where he belongs. It's alright, it's alright. It's not in yet. I notice you're not looking bright, but what's the problem? Why do you allow your wife's misbehavior to bother you this much? I told you before, it's the prerogative of women to be stupid and the privilege of us men to ignore them. You've got money. You've got opportunity. What are you waiting for? Make the most of it. Go out and catch fun. We come this way once. And I mean it. Okay, now. Mm. You won't understand. You won't understand because you're not married. Point of correction, I was once married, remember? Look, um, I like life for one thing. It's complex. Creates problems, still provides ways of solving these problems. What about my brother? He's posing a very big problem. Your brother's case is simple, very simple. He's your younger brother. We can always meet and think out how to contain him. That is not a problem. Let's get down to more serious issues. But I am planning to visit the bishop. You know, I've been haunted with this ambition of being a knight, and I intend to realize it. So first things first, I'll be going to see the bishop. And you know what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wadibu. Okay, Wadibu. You know what I can do. I get easy good to win. Come on. Get us some chicken. Come on. Always make it.
because of the Savior, I don't understand you anymore. What's the matter with you? I'm talking to you, Selena. 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 How many times will I tell you that there's nothing the matter with me? I'm perfectly okay. You're perfectly okay. You're pretending over something. When actually you're saying there's something you're hiding away from me. Pretending about what? Oh, you're asking me. Why don't you ask yourself? I'm sure this your strange behavior will prove me right someday. It certainly will. Nothing. Oh, there you go again. There you go again, Selena. Nothing. Nothing. Everything, nothing. And yet you distance yourself away from me and you tell me nothing. Let me tell you something, Selena. The eye of the eagle can never turn dim in the full glare of the sun. It can never happen. Never. Impossible. Whatever it is you're hiding away from me, my lord, whatever I do from the church is strictly in keeping with the promise I made to God a couple of years ago that I would serve him with all my heart, with all my strength, and with whatever I possess. This is why occasionally I make donations to the church. It's to ensure that I don't renege on that promise. God bless you. Thank you, my lord. Um, Tomorrow is the feast of St. Joseph's, uh, after whom this parish was named. It's always a very big celebration in the parish. Um, I have a large cow outside uh, for the celebration, and um, I also have a check here for, for two million naira. Um, this is to enable you to purchase gifts I know you'd like to distribute to the motherless babies and the rest of them. Please accept this, my love. Thank It's okay. Well, our God is always committed to those who willingly serve him in truth and diligence. May the good Lord reward your kind gesture. Thank you very much, my Lord. Uh, you see, this is part of uh, the job we have to do. Uh, brethren, Lord, as you, we all know that the bishop has the create a new order for the acceptance of people into the knighthood. And presently we have quite a list of those seeking to be made knights of the church. But the question here is, how do we effect this new order? Um, I think the bishop was very clear in his speech. Yes. Anyone seeking to be a knight of the church yeah. must merit it. And as such, every aspirant must submit his full dossier and also declare his assets and the source of it. And of course, submit to the church every evidence of his credibility in and outside the church. That was what the bishop said. Uh, Sir you are very correct. And... Um... This will enable us to do so many things. As a standing committee for screening of the new members, we probably have to take it on ourselves to investigate the true nature of these credentials of the candidates when they submit them. That is it. In fact, this is a positive step towards the right direction. Yeah. Um, 
Also, the bishop's initiative will help us determine who is worthy to serve in his capacity as a true soldier of Christ. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, our brethren, with this latest development, and as the members of the Standing Committee for screening up the new members into knighthood, I believe we can now, by the grace of God, eradicate completely the canker worm that is eating deeply into the knighthood and the body of Christ. Sure. And then we can now have a new direction, new vision That's right. for the knighthood. That's right. Um, yeah. Please give us the closing prayers before we In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty and the Master God, we invite you to do that. Whatever that day we invite, Papa here, we must deliver. Whosoever that day, and Papa here, we must go to We need fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, my people, this over. I should forget it. Salina, Tony, what's going on here? What are these people? Who, who are these people? Salvation has come to your doorstep, Brother Park. Will you shut up? Who even told you my name? And who is your brother? Huh? You bringing noisemakers into my house to disturb my peace and you call that prayers? What kind of stupid prayers is that? Hey, you listen to me. By the time I get into my bedroom, come back here, you would have disappeared. Did you hear me? For the battle on me, God loves you. Oh, you even have the guts to call me by my name. Huh? Am I your age mate? Am I your age mate, I ask you? The wicked have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. He has done abominable works. By and by, the wicked shall be judged. There's no peace with the wicked. Please, don't be angry. Come, come back. back. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Come, come back. back. It's okay, please. please. Come back. Come back. Do your prayer. Let them pray. Let them pray. What is it? Ah, we will die because of him. Let this be the first and last time this will happen in this house. If it does, well. Good day, that one. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, okay, now. Yes. We expected you should come with your file and uh, all the required documents for the interview. Sorry, I forgot. Actually, the file is in the car, but you see, in my bid to ensure I didn't come in late, I forgot it. Give me some little time. My driver is there, so he'll get to the Yeah, uh, Billy, there are two files in the car there. Get me the one of which is written knighthood. Please, hurry. Yes, uh, immediately. Thank you. The file will be here in no time. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Uh, why are we looking for this file? Why don't you check it in my other person outside?
Good. You're going to probably be here in no time. Um, Chief, we see you are fine. We we'll get back to you in due course. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I heard about the new uh, diocesan secretariat under construction. And I thought I should uh, make my own little contribution to what the Bible calls your widow's might. Uh, here the check for five million naira. Yes. Um, I believe very much in supporting the church and doing my utmost for our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you should require any assistance in the future, please don't hesitate to reach me. Thank you very much, Dr. Okay. Thank you. On behalf of the parish and this committee, you say a good word. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Good day, gentlemen. Selena. Whenever there is a problem between you and your husband, Try and open up to him. That is how to build a good family. Don't let outsiders to laugh at nothing. Not even bringing the dead party to whatever concerns you and that lady. Have you heard me? Yes, Mama. Selena, have you heard me? I have, Mama. That is how I lived with your father. No dead party have ever come inside our matter. My wife's attitude is becoming unbearable. I do not know what to do. This matter has lingered on for some time. And why didn't you inform me early enough? I sort of overlooked it because I thought with time it was going to fizzle away. But I, 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 don't, I don't The know. secret of this kingdom, as constituted by Sakura Shakiki, are too sacred to be toyed with. But let me, you must understand the essence of your allegiance and membership to this kingdom. Your wife's attitude is not ordinary. Her spirit is her guide, and it is leading her to the path of destruction. How, great master, I don't understand. The eyes that see the twin light of the spirit shall never behold the dawn of the mortal. Go home, I will summon you at the right time. Thank you, great one. I'll take my leave. Go in peace. Kingdom of darkness will never overcome the kingdom of light. So hold on, don't quit, but fight the good fight. Yes. We humbly wish to inform you that your application for knighthood in the Catholic Church is not successful. What do you mean by that? The church has rejected your application and there's virtually nothing we can do about that. Why? Why did the church reject my application? Uh, Chief Okena, the church has its own procedures which must be followed. What procedures? What procedures? After all what I've been doing for the church? After all the donations I have given to this church? Do you understand how you feel? But his lordship, the bishop, said we should hand over these checks. He said the missions we made for the church, and this is the key to the car, which is parked outside there. You can go with them while going. We thank you very much for your cooperation. What do you think you are? Just what do you think you are, all of you? Playing God? You want to tell me that you must recommend everybody who must be a knight? I have failed? It's all right. Keep your knight who will have given that to you. Of darkness, darkness will never overcome the kingdom of light.
Inspire us, your children, great master. Sakura Shankiki. Secret of the ancient kingdom of the golden age. The enemy is creeping into the secret existence of this kingdom. But we shall not succumb. We shall subdue them. Okay now. Great master. The powers of the other side are denying you what rightfully belongs to you. But Sakura Shankeke, power of the golden age, secret of the ancient kingdom, will fight for you. May Shakura Shankiki be praised, great master. You will have to perform a sacrifice by sleeping with a blind virgin. You will bring her blood and your semen so that perfection and excellence will merge together to grant you your heart's desire, the knighthood. Her blindness signifies the blindness of the church to your activities. Your semen signifies a new beginning for you, the knighthood. It shall be done, great master. Bartholomew, great master, your wife's mind is leading her astray. She saw you at the burial of Ejikeme, and that is not held you enough. Knowledge is too edged, life and death. Her intuition is her destruction. The sacred kingdom of Sakura Shankiki cannot be exposed. Chief Ejikeme made a mistake and paid dearly with his life. In order not to have a repetition, your wife must die. When you get home, you will find out that she has been ransacking your room. You know what that means. The fight for the Lord is with you. said touch not my anointed whoever does will face his wrath oh. so my wife was at the burial so that was why she found out that i am in the sacred court okay now start are correct after all ah. what do i do what if I kill her eventually? What happens next? But come to think of it, if she eventually blows her confirmation to the open, what happened to Eddie Kemen will surely happen to me. I must confront her. The secret of the sacred kingdom must not be exposed. I don't want to end up like a Jigeme. What do you mean you can't do it? Whatever happened to your guts? Listen to me, Bath. A man without courage can never achieve anything in life. You just have to justify your membership of the sacred kingdom. Okay, now. I have already justified my membership. Is it easy for a man to sacrifice his manhood? I agree, it's not. But you did it for something, money. We all sacrificed something that we cherished dearly. Just for money, right? Listen, it is your responsibility to do it. You cannot give up, otherwise, Shankiki's curse will fall upon you. Now remember, 
both of us have got indiv individual tasks to perform tonight. I've already instructed my boys to go get me a blind virgin that I must use tonight. Better set yourself to perform your own task. You are going to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. Maybe you can help me. What do you mean by that? Did you help me kill my own wife? Now you want me to help you. Listen to me, Bath. If you fail in this responsibility, Shankiki's curse is going to fall on you, and your fate will be worse than that of H. Gemme. You know that? All right. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather that you died instead of your wife? Would you? I'm not actually asking you to help me do it. I mean, what I'm thinking is, maybe you can send your boys or instruct them to... Oh, come on, but perish the thought. What do you mean I can send my boys? But come to think, look what is happening. This is not the path I used to know. What is happening to your correct path? It's your responsibility. And you know it. Borrow some courage from somewhere. Steal some courage. Try some alcohol. Try the weed. Use drugs if possible. But for God's sake, don't let Chakiki's curse be upon you. Didn't I tell you one is forthcoming? Let's just flag it down our break. Thank God. You confirm everything I told you? Yes, sir. She's the reason. I will make her sir. Are you sure she's a virgin? Yes, sir. Daughter. This is my friend's daughter. Don't you're you sorry, know sir. that? You're sorry, sir. What do you mean you're sorry? 
Now sorry, sir. Now get out of here. Get out of here. Give me, sir. Good afternoon, my lord. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, my lord, I, I wish to speak with you alone. You wait for me, Adika. Yes, my lord. Uh, my lord, in spite of the fact that I did not qualify for a place among your knights, uh, I am not deterred from assisting the church. I will always support everything that has been done in the Lord's vineyard. I know that there is a cathedral under construction and I have come to humbly contribute my quota. My Lord, I have here a check for 10 million which I wish to present to you, my Lord. I'm sorry we don't need it. I did everything I was asked to do as directed by the great Shah Kiki. Still, the bishop resisted me. What did I do wrong, great master? There was a slight mistake. What mistake, master? Sakura Shankiki never supports injustice. Just yesterday, while in silent communion with Sakura Shankiki on the mountain, he revealed to me that the blood you brought for sacrifice was the blood of a dead member, whose blood was once shed and never to be shed a second time. How do I make amends, great master? By repeating the sacrifice. Make sure you do not make another mistake. Otherwise, that will cost you your knighthood for life. I assure you, great master, there will be no mistake this time around. Thank you, master. You better do.
Masakala Holo. He let us a Thank you, Jesus. Brother Tony, the Lord is good all the time. Today, the Lord has decided to visit you. Your destiny and fulfillment in life are being buried in this ground. But today, the Lord shall prove wonders in the midst of the Somebody get me a shovel. In the book of Psalm chapter 24, verse 3, we say, Yea, though so we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. Yes. Brother Simon, Amen. start digging here. This point. Why did you leave this house for the village without a family? I demand an answer from you. And I have the right to go to where I want to go to. The point is that the skeleton remains of uh, a goat was dug up in a compound. Hey. And Grace. Grace. I was saying, the skeletal remains of a goat was dug down in her compound. That confirms Grace's story that her late brother told her that you were seen 
digging and burying something on that same point some months ago. And I want to know why. Well, if you must know, I buried something there for a purpose. What purpose? I buried a life growth there to enable my wife conceive during her early trial periods. That means Selena knows about it. How am I even sure you're telling the truth? Meaning, what are you trying to insinuate? That I tied your lock or something? You have said so. What is. Where is your wife? She's supposed to be part of this discussion. I said, where is she? She has to be here. Where is Selena? She's supposed to be here. Selena is dead. Selena is what? What happened? She developed high fever. And before I could rush her to the hospital, she gave up. Spirit. I would for one day doubt his decision in spiritual issues. It is his decision and it stays that way. Nobody can do anything about it. That I know.
She's my wife! No! We must have been back! We must have been back! <laughs> what sort of nonsense? It's no nonsense! No nonsense. nonsense. We know what we, we are nonsense. saying. Look, she's my wife! And we are the fathers and mothers of this lady here. I have the right to bear my the way I didn't fit. You have right up to an extent. And, and what's the meaning of all this nonsense? It is no ah. nonsense. It is no nonsense. Oh. see what my work generally is going to be like. If I'm free on that day, then certainly I'll be there. No, no, <laughs> I'm not likely to forget. I promise you I'll be there. Yeah. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Your daughter is wedding in the Anglican church? Are you out of your mind? I thought if you were very serious Catholics, diehard Catholics, and what's responsible for that change of attitude or change of mind? I see. <laughs> it's all right. I'll get back to you. Then you can tell me all about it. Huh? All right. Bye bye now. <laughs> ah, that gives me an idea. A night is a night. Catholic or Anglican. Now why didn't I think of this all along? If I can't get it to the Catholic Church, I can pick it up from the Anglican Communion. Knighthood. <laughs> I think I know what to do. I need to find out the identity of that man. I donated 16 million naira towards our church fund. But he demanded for anonymity when he gave the check. <laughs> but um, this Ed Raymond was there on the day the check was presented. So he should know. My Lord Bishop, is there any special reason why you want to know him? <laughs> you know, such generosity attracts curiosity. This is a height of total commitment to the things of God. It's tremendous. I don't want to. I think I'm talking well. Yes, my Lord. some money to travel. Where are you traveling to? I want to go to the north. I want to go and see a friend who I believe is still there. So why do you want to travel this period that I'm mourning? Don't you think I still need you around? Mother Salina is dead. Mourning her endlessly will not bring her back. Besides, 
I have to search for my purpose in life. I agree with you. I don't know whatever happened uh, about the arrangement I made with Daniel. But I please don't let us go into that. I'm no longer keen about that arrangement. It is past. It's alright. So when do you need the money? First in, I'm leaving first in tomorrow morning. I'll give it to you in the morning. Thank you, brother. It's a small world after all. No matter how bad a man is, there might be some streak of goodness in his person. It only takes the good to perceive that streak of goodness. You see, my lord, what you denied me in the Catholic Church, I got from the Anglican Communion. What else can I say? <laughs> Our Lord is good all the time. <laughs> my lord, bear in mind that henceforth, you must address me as Sir Oken Ogudebe KSC. And you better remember that, my lord, always. You address me, sir. I will send you to do that manner. My lord. Remember. Sir Oken Ogudebe. K <laughs> The workman has put forward his axe to cut down the unproductive tree. Very soon, the sound of the crashing tree will be heard by many. Okenna. Okenna. You ridicule the servant of God, the Most High. I tell you, you will never get far from here. My Lord, those whom the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. Thank God you know that. going to mount a one-man campaign against Okena's knighthood. I mean, I cannot sit back and watch Christendom being ridiculed. No, not when I can help it. Um, Sir David, I don't know what you think, but I think you should allow him be. If the African community, which I know are very much spiritually inclined, cannot determine who is worthy to be a knight or not, so be it. No, I disagree with you. I am going to disrupt Okenna's deceit, period. I mean, ah. So they have to be very careful. Uh, remember, my regards to your wife. 
Thank you very much. See you. And don't forget to be careful. Can we be sure of your assertion? I sure you understand that night institution is a secret order. Well, uh, I do, His Grace, and um, talking about proof. Here are some of the letters and documents from uh, members of the church and. Uh, associates and acquaintances of okay you can go through them and see things for yourself jesus christ Sir David, I thank you for a wonderful move. Geared towards salvaging our church from external evil influence. I want to assure you that the matter will be looked into and adequate steps will be taken to stop further occurrence. Thank you, His Grace. Um, I'll be on my way now. Okay. Instead of your knighthood in the Anglican faith. Is that why you called me here? Is that why you brought me here? You might be jokers. Listen to me. Whether the Archbishop of Canterbury or the Cardinal of Calcutta, nobody has a right to strip me of my knighthood. Once a knight, always a knight, 
Now get it into your thick skulls. But here is an official order from the Archbishop of Canterbury. It says that you have been relieved of your knighthood. Shut up. Listen to me. I know how much I have contributed to the success of this Anglican community. And I know that. Right? I know what I have done to ensure that we sustain this church. And you are sitting down here. After accepting my money, you are telling me I've been stripped of my knighthood. No. Nobody can do that. And listen to me and listen properly. Right? I am a knight of the church. And I will remain a knight of the church. Now, Chief Oaken, in the first place, remember we are knights. We have evaluated your contributions in the church and it valued 20 million naira. Okay, here is the check of your expenses. Yes. Madigan. Oh, sorry, sir. Madigan. Yes. You must see me again soon. knighthood in the Anglican Communion. My pride has been dragged to the dust. This is why I have run to you. For succor, help me, great master. I am lost. If you had obeyed the directives of our master Sakura Shankeke by repeating your sacrifice, you wouldn't have found yourself in this mess. Now that your honor has been taken away, you run back to me. <laughs> I apologize for my wrongdoings, great master, but please help me. Help me, master. When a child finds himself on top of the Roko tree, he thinks he's on top of the world, not knowing that the Roko tree is merely a substance of transition. Okay now. Master. A war is at hand. The church is mounting propaganda against the brotherhood. Therefore, we must be ready to do battle. <laughs> Sankura, Uniki, Ayi Kalaru, Utwani Silike, Yokesu Nachua, Sankura, Uniki. Okay, now, Master. The man called David, you know him. He is the source of your problem. Get rid of him immediately. David? David? The source of my problem? All right. David? Wait for me, David. circumstances. Just you and me. <laughs> Let me ask 
ask you something, David. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? And by the way, I picked that from the Bible. Now, what has it profited you to ruin my ambition, only to wind up as my prisoner? Now, listen to me, David. You stepped on my sword too, and oh my God, how it hurts me, how it hurts me, David. I don't care what you do to me. I stood and fought for the truth. And even if you kill me, you cannot stop the truth. Shut up, Fanny. Shut up, David! You fought for the truth. You know what your truth has cost me? Do you know what your truth has cost me? My ambition, my honor, my integrity, my dream, all swept off by just one single careless statement. He does not qualify to be a knight. That's what he said. And now, I have your life in my hands. And oh God, what I will do to you, David. What I will do to you, David. <laughs> you have got me now. What are you complaining about? Nothing. What are you waiting for? Hey, don't be a fool, David. Even martyrdom does not come as cheap as you are trying to present it. Tonight, my boys will gradually dispatch you to heaven. <laughs> you know, David? You're a very good man. In this world, there are two types of men. Good men. And us, men who try to be good. You will go to heaven, I know that, because you have lived a life of moral rectitude. So when you get there, wait for me. With all my weaknesses, I still feel that somehow I will also get to heaven. But if I don't make heaven, just bear in mind, that hell also is for heroes. <laughs> Tonight, and have a safe trip. It's all yours. told me about the discussion you had with our late brother before he died. Yes, um, it was in connection with uh, Chief Okenal's knighthood in the Anglican Church. Um, David was not favorable to, the, to that idea and he wanted or he said he must work against it. 
I tried to stop him. But knowing the kind of person our brother David was, a committed Christian who would never allow the body of Christ to be disgraced anywhere, he insisted that he must. After that discussion, I was expecting to hear more from him. But all I heard is that David is no more. Brethren, what are your opinions concerning this issue? Um, as for me, I've thought thoroughly about this. I've looked inwardly and outwardly. And I'm forced to believe that Chief Okenna is behind the killing of David. Otherwise, tell me, a few days after he lost his knighthood in the Anglican community, the next thing we hear is David was murdered. Murdered, killed. I think Chief Okenna is behind the killing. I strongly believe in this. Well, I think this condition is very, very critical and demands urgent attention. To prove you right, Bracken, I think we have to involve the police into this. Um, brethren, I personally do not ascribe to the involvement of police in this issue. Why? You see, in the first place, the police in this country are not reliable in matters like this. More especially when we have no vacuum of evidence. Secondly, this issue does not require a physical approach. It is a David today. Tomorrow it could be any one of us. Yes. So I am suggesting that we embark on a spiritual battle against the forces of darkness. Uh, brethren, I think I quite agree with what Brother Michael has suggested. It is only a spiritual manifestation that will safeguard us in this church. And that also will help drive the evil. Well, all spoken well, brethren. The sad thing is that David is gone. Who next? Yeah, I'm totally confused. Totally amazed. And that is in my house. Every day. Every night, I develop cold sweat. Strange objects moving around. I hear strange sounds all the time. I don't know. Mm. Have you notified the great master? Of course I did. Mm. And he told me to focus more on the great enemy. At the moment the great enemy is defeated, one would have achieved you know, some level of peace and uh, safety. That was what he told me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you see, Bath, what you are experiencing is not strange at all. I mean, it's not unusual. I had a similar experience when my wife Sarah died. Um, uh, I was seeing her ghost all the time. I would get up in the middle of the night. Uh, I would, was very restless. I consulted the great master. I don't know what he did, but at the end of it all, I was able to sleep. The nightmare stopped. So why does he, why doesn't he want to help me? After all, he was the very one who told me to kill my wife. Mm, I, I think you're getting it wrong there, Bath. Um, that directive was from the great Sankiki himself, not the master. And uh, I think I must caution you here, please. 
desist from questioning the authority of the great son Kiki. Otherwise, his wrath will fall on you and you wouldn't like the consequences. Mm. All right, since you would like to sleep in my house, relax, let me just tell you a few and say, <coughs> we'll get to the house. Beloved servants of God, yes, you are all aware of the happenings in the Catholic Church in recent time. The devil is revealed and is masquerading himself among God's people. But we are vessels of honor in God's hand. We must fulfill the divine mandate of God's purpose for his church. No gate of hell or powers of darkness can prevail against it. I therefore wish to declare a warm month novena with prayers and fasting in all your parishes so that the enemy in our midst will be subdued finally. Okay? Yes, my lord. Shall we go now, my lord? You can. Thank you. Showdown. When you've prayed the behalf, 
Get ready for a deadly sting The soul that tears immortality Gets darkness We lame your tread, we as pure as dear not William, get ready to dance the dance of death support of the kidnap of the bishop by the chief priest. Why? Because you're a knight of the Catholic Church, you feel that the bishop is an untouchable? You see, <laughs> Lawrence, anything that is worth doing at all is worth doing well. The bishop insulted me and I mean to retaliate. I am not one of those Christians that subscribe to the turn the other cheek philosophy. No, it's a sign of physical weakness. You slap me on one cheek and I have the opportunity to retaliate. I would not hesitate to grind you. I know what I'm saying. Kidnapping the bishop is too delicate. It's not my idea of bravado. But I dissociate myself from all these type of things. I can understand your weakness. You're being sentimental and foolish. And listen to me. Don't let the great Sankiki know the way you feel about this situation, or you'll regret the day you were born. The battle line has been drawn. It's between me and the bishop. And I am not going to relent. Would you want some brandy? you to the temple at this time of the night. In great master, I have come to seek your permission to see the bishop who has caused me so much pain. I want to ridicule him. I want to laugh him to scorn. I want to put him through some of the pain he's put me through, master. Okay now, mere mortals cannot tread where the bishop is being kept. Great master, kindly allow me some of your powers. 
so I can see the bishop and mock him. He insulted me and I want to have my revenge. Okay, now you ask for the impossible. I say go home. Go home now, Nokena. Thank you, Master. I say go home.
infinite mercy has proved that one with him is majority. Therefore, the victory today is a victory for the church. A victory for the children of God. For according to his words, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but our good Lord shall deliver him from them all. We all stood and witnessed the destruction of the wicked. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Ah. My Lord Bishop, my Lord, I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. What confession, Sir Lawrence? I was a member of a secret cult. I joined this cult because of greed and lust for money. I thought the cult would provide me with refuge and the security that I needed. But I now know that God is my refuge and my security. Ever since the temple was destroyed on the other side, I have never been myself. It's been one problem after another. In fact, at the stage, I felt like killing myself because of shame. <laughs> My Lord, please I pray that God forgives me. Sir Lawrence, nobody will ever believe that you are part of the powers of darkness that sought to destroy the body of Christ. You are always regarded as a respectable knight. Well, our God is a merciful God. According to his words, if we confess our sins and depart from it, he's always just and faithful to forgive us. My question, Sir Lawrence, have you departed completely from the powers of darkness? I have, my Lord. And in addition, I renounce all affiliation of the devil. Please, my Lord, pray for me because I have sinned against humanity and against God. Yes. 
sungguh berhijau ya. Where is Lawrence? Since you've given up your past life, God is very much ready to readmit you into his fold. But remember, he said, go and sin no more. Sir Lawrence, having forsaken the past powers of darkness, I pray that our Almighty God will bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just let me direct it. Yes, we are here to burn and to destroy this child here before us. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, we ask you to come upon this particular child, O oh Lord, and destroy them. By your authority placed on us as your priest, we come against every evil spirit, every power that is in this child. We ask them to depart and be destroyed forever and to go to a battle in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray without ceasing, cause the power you have been given. All the power in heaven and earth belongs to the Lord our God. The kingdom of darkness, of darkness will never, never come. Never. The kingdom of light, so hold on. The king.